to Mandy's Musings once again this week. Just a few thoughts from me on things that have been happening, random or otherwise. Well, this week I saw some baby pigs. Vince, the electrician, I'm afraid I don't know him by any other name, uh, spotted me as I was walking my dogs and introduced me to them. They were very cute, small little creatures and I learned that they were a New Zealand breed of small pig called Kuna Kuna. Don't know if I've said that right. Now I'd previously met the black pigs, also of the same breed, that were in the fields near the footpath off Church Street. Now those pigs have gone off to their inevitable end, such is the cycle of life. However, it got me thinking about the many instances of pigs and their uses in the Bible. There is the very familiar story of the prodigal son, where the son, after he spent all of his money, he is reduced to spending time in squalor with the pigs. He is at the absolute lowest point of his life. And then there is the story of Jesus healing the man who was tormented by many demons. And in order to get rid of the demons, he sends them into a herd of swine who go mad with those demons and thunder to, the de to their deaths over the cliffs. And it seems to me, when I think about it, that pigs get a pretty raw deal in the Bible. They symbolise uncleanness. They were a forbidden food in the Old Testament. They symbolise also an unworthiness that this is not to be aspired for and they represent what is unworthy and unholy in the world. And they quite frankly symbolise the lowest of the low. Looking at these cute baby pigs as I saw this week, I couldn't see anything of that in them. Mind you, in all beginnings of life, there is an innocence and acuteness which we readily see. None of us though, including all of God's creatures, can prevent the influence of evil in our broken world. It is what we live with. But God knows that too. And he sent his son to be our mediator and our shield from such brokenness, to give us forgiveness and also a new life. Vince's baby pigs mooch happily around in their pens, unaware of their spiritual symbolism. They are just living their lives for as long as those lives will be. We live our lives, conscious both of the brokenness of the world, but also of the grace of God that we live under. Now, you may or may not be having roast pork for your Sunday dinner this weekend. If you do, I pray that you'll enjoy it. If you don't, perhaps your mind will be drawn to our baby pigs and you'll ponder on both the unholiness and the grace of God in this world. Every blessing. Have a great week. Bye for now.